doing today? What are we doing today? What's all over the car and what is going on? I've never seen anything like this before. I want to show you guys a couple little tips and techniques for doing some patina. A lot of people love the patina. Unfortunately, whoever had this car before started making some really horrendous fake patina by taking a grinder to the fender and doing this number to it. And it just looked absolutely out of place, ridiculous. It did not look right at all. So what we're doing right now is trying to blend in and make some patina to this that would blend in and kind of match the rest of this patina on it and not look so horrendous, hideously faked patina. So how are we doing that? Well, I got a secret ingredient. It's called Louisiana style Cajun. Why? Because we love things spicy. That's why a little on the spicy side. So what do we do? We put a rag down that's wet and we're going to sprinkle our Louisiana style Cajun. Why? Because I ran out of salt. And this just so happened to be in the spice cabinet. And oh, it smells so good too. So it smells absolutely wonderful like Cajun cooking out here right now that's why and we're also to show you another technique so Luke asked me this the other day when I came out with a bucket of rust he goes you you have a bucket of rust and I'm like yes yes I do and let me show you why and we take a plate like this and if I put the hammer away already and I put the brick away so I'll let me grab that real quick so we're gonna take this flaky chunky rust and this is actually off of the quarter panels off of this that we're gonna recycle and actually make it so we'll take these rust chunks when I do brake jobs or anything like that that has any kind of flaky rust, any, I keep it and I put it into a bucket and this is what I use it for. So we're going to take that and that's what's all over here now. This is, a, and the powdery it is, the better it is. And then we mixed up a spray bottle of just salt water and uh, until I ran out of salt so we had to go to the Cajun uh, spice cabinet. What we're going to take and we're going to wet all of that down which is going to make the salt and the spices start to blend in and bite into that bare metal and we're going to start to get all this to rust and start to oxidize and i'll show you this other side right here this was all completely bare metal yesterday so you can see all the color that's starting to come into this now and that's all that is all from one day with the rusty powder and some wet rags sitting on top of it and a little salt mix to it and it'll start to get more and more as it won't take very long if you do this for a couple of weeks straight it'll look just perfectly natural and rusted and everything so and then you can also do that to get some of this rust to bleed down and go into your emblems and down at the chrome trim and it actually looks really natural and stuff as well so so this is the little technique with a little duct tape with some sandpaper I think we finished it off with 320 grit to get rid of all the scratches in it and uh, and then to the bare metal with the rust powder wet rags and you just keep wetting the rag down so you keep it wet and that's how we're gonna get this match this absolutely fake patina that somebody else did horrendously awful job of and we're gonna try to make it blend in and look a natural patina so that's one of the tricks and tips that we're going to give you to make a patina job that doesn't look so fakeish like that. It just absolutely kills me when people try to fake the patina 
and they just don't know what they're doing whatsoever and they make it look 10 times worse than it was in the first place so we're going to continue on this and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done here but stay tuned for more tips and tricks we got a carb kit we're going to throw onto this thing right now we're going to rebuild the carb luke got all the glass cleaned up we got some new weather stripping going on the trunk on it and uh, we're going to try to get this thing to a Sandy County Fairgrounds Saturday for Frankensteiner's Ball Bash in uh, Isani, Minnesota. Awesome, awesome car show where everybody dresses up, brings candy, and hands out candy to all the kids and everything. And it's just a great family show, trick-or-treating, and uh, everyone dresses up in costumes and dresses their cars all up and everything too it's a super cool show we're gonna hit that saturday and we're gonna take this thing for forget to like this video click like throw me a comment let me know what you think ring the bell for those notifications when we get a new video we got lots more coming up guys a lot of cool stuff coming up i hope you guys are enjoying the ride